This is not a normal day in the life. Today I'm working from Faro in Portugal. The day starts at around 8.30 in the morning. I take a shower and get ready before making myself a strong cup of coffee and going into the garden. So I start the day with some journaling. I'm using Spotify and Notion to do that. My practice is inspired by a method called morning pages where I dump everything that's on my mind onto the page and that helps to clear my head and help me find some creative flow throughout the day. Usually this is done by hand, like you're meant to hand write your morning pages, but I prefer to type mine out. I also like to write my main focus for the day, which is the one thing that would make today a success. I like to write something Thing I'm grateful for and something I want to let go of from the day before. My focus for today is going to be around my day job. I am focusing on building a dashboard that shows the business how well it's onboarding new clients. But the thing I'm grateful for is to be able to work from Portugal with my friends this week. This is not something that happens all the time and I feel extremely lucky to be able to do that. My thing to let go of was ironically the need to be productive all the time and instead just enjoy unstructured free time with the homies. So I'm trying a new work planning method from the book called Make Time and it's called The Burner List. The idea is you have a main priority on the front burner, a smaller priority on the back burner, then everything else that isn't urgent, you ignore. On my front burner is gonna be my main work focus for the day that I mentioned earlier. On my back burner, I want to film this vlog and do it really well. And then everything else I'm just gonna ignore. So I've been doing a lot of typing so far and I noticed how great the keyboard is to use. I really, really like it. It's super tactile and responsive. I don't accidentally double click on keys. It's just generally a really nice experience to use. I'm very happy with it. Next up, I open Slack and check for any messages. There's lots of different group chats, so it can take a while to wrap my head around everything. I also take a look at my calendar so I can mentally prepare for the day ahead. As I'm typing away, something I noticed about using the Space Gray M2 Air is that where I rest my palms on the laptop, it doesn't show smudges as easily as it does on the midnight color. I know the midnight color is an absolute magnet for fingerprints. And I know of some people like Olio who have returned their midnight in exchange for the space gray. So overall, I'm pretty glad I got this color. I've actually forgotten about breakfast. I do this all the time. I'll get so sucked into my work that I forget to eat. I get up to quickly make myself a yogurt and granola bowl with some fresh fruit and a little bit of honey. Let's get back into it. I'm having a bunch of different video calls with team members to get feedback on the work I've done and to realign on our goals. The new 1080p FaceTime camera is really good. It works nicely when there's a lot of light around and I think it looks much better than the 720p camera on the M1 Air. Just like the rear cameras are super important for people when they go to buy a smartphone, I think having a high quality front facing camera will be the new important thing for people buying work laptops. After my meetings are finished, I jump into my first priority of the day, which is building the dashboard in HubSpot. HubSpot is a web-based CRM and I've been learning about it for the last year or so. The laptop is handling it pretty well and I find it easy to multitask between different tabs and windows without lag. What I like the most here is the bigger and brighter display. It's handling the sunny weather conditions really well and I don't find myself struggling for screen real estate. It's been a pretty heavy morning, as you can imagine. After an hour or so of doing the HubSpot work, I go to have some lunch. It's also an opportunity for me to do some like personal Personal stuff so I have a YouTube video coming out and I need to finalize a thumbnail for it. I fire up Photoshop and Lightroom to see if the MacBook can handle it and I'm quickly tweaking this thumbnail that I created and uploading it. I actually started the day without a full battery because the battery is so good I genuinely forgot to put it on charge the night before. As you'd expect the battery is starting to get pretty low now it hasn't been charged in two days so I plug it in with a 60 watt charger for 30 minutes using the MagSafe cable. You can see just how quickly this recharges, which is so nice to see. I do some more deep work in the afternoon, getting through various support requests and actions I didn't get around to earlier in the week. As soon as it hits 5.30 p.m., I shut my laptop to take a break. After all, I am in Portugal, so I'm going for a late afternoon bike ride and iced coffee by the beach. I absolutely love getting out for a walk of fresh air. It's a great way to clear my head and process whatever's on my mind. After we get back, I'm told it's the Love Island final, which doesn't interest me at all, so I have a bit more time to do some personal work. I mosquito repellent up, go back to the garden, and spend some time designing a website for a potential business idea where I make marketing videos for startups. The day finishes at 10.30 p.m. I'm really pleased with how the M2 Air is held up. The lightweight form factor is so underrated. I could carry this around everywhere without an issue. It feels closer to an iPad Pro and Magic Keyboard setup than it does to a MacBook Pro. Also, it doesn't heat up that much, which surprised me because the weather conditions were pretty warm. It's nice to see that even without the internal fans, the MacBook Air really holds up very well by itself. Thank you for joining me for my productive day in the life. Like I said, this is not an ordinary day in the life. This is like the dream day in the life. Anyway, I will see you next time.